The Oracle of Omaha, also known as Warren Buffett or Lord of Investors, is an American businessman. He is a student and friend of Benjamin Graham, the father of value investing, who has managed to amass one of the largest fortunes in history through his company, Berkshire Hathaway. Well, Lord Buffett also has made a name as the most successful investor of the 20th century. Do you know? At the age of only six, Buffett purchased six bottles of Coca-Cola from his grandfather's, shopped for 25 cents, and sold each bottle for 5 cents, and earned a profit of 5 cents, while the other kids were playing in the dirts. Also, an important fact is that he purchased his first share at the age of 11. According to him, he regrets that it was too late to buy a share. And so, here are the best six books on Warren Buffett, and by using these books and resources, you can now find out about his biography investing techniques, and thoughts on business. Number 6. The Warren Buffett Way Robert G. Hagstrom If you are looking for investing lessons from the impressive record that Buffett has put together, Hagstrom's book may be all you need. The Warren Buffett Way, which is now in its third edition, lays out all the rules of thumb Buffett uses in his investing and walks the reader through them with case studies out of Buffett's own investment portfolio. Assign the right people to the right jobs. Buffett believes that by assigning the right manager to a right job is worth full, he proved this. Buffett's company, Berkshire Hathaway, owns 63 companies. He only writes to the CEOs of these companies each year, stating his goals for the year. He does not hold meetings or make regular phone calls. He suggested that every CEO should set their goals and be focused on them. In 2010, he co-founded the open-handed pledge with Bill Gates. This pledge promises that millionaires will donate at least half of their wealth. Sponsored a charity. His belief that if he is capable of buying a company, it's the same as investing in charity. He was looking for someone to get the job done and meet his goals. Buffett put around 85% of his wealth into the Gates Foundation. He promised to donate about $31 billion. More than 99% of his wealth was spent on philanthropy in my life or when he died. In New Orleans, Buffett is a friend of Thomas Cousins a real estate developer in Atlanta. Buffett gave money to help his cousin revitalize the poor areas of his hometown, but did not disclose the amount. Buffett said his support for the efforts of his friends reflected his approach to philanthropy as a whole. Warren Buffett had never written a book himself, but others had written many books about him, his investment strategy, and his viewpoint and thinking. Some books on Buffett focus on his life and achievements, while others focus on recreating his investment style. Ahead understandings into inordinate financiers like Warren Buffett can be equally helpful to beginners and senior investors alike. Mr. Buffett always points to investors that, when investing, think of it as buying ownership in the business and not only buying it as a stock. Such thinking will widen your perspective as an investor. One will be more responsible while selecting stocks and study the business to its core before investing. Number 5. An Essay on Warren Buffett Lawrence A. Cunningham this book was a collection of carefully selected letters from Warren Buffett and sometimes Charlie Munger to shareholders of Berkshire, one of America's most appreciated companies. These letters are generally available on their website, but like Lawrence Cunningham, they make a valuable selection and configuration of the probably wisest things in the book. Instead of grouping extracts in chronological order, organizations add value first by various topics covered. For instance, corporate governance, common stock, investment options and men by importance. This gives an interesting perspective on how some things have evolved over the years. It uses a fair amount of investment terminology, which Berkshire shareholders may be familiar with, but it can be difficult to overcome if you are new to this domain. Even if you have a good understanding of the subject, certain things do not completely resonate. Number 4. Thoughts of Chairman Buffett, Simon Reynolds this book consists of a collection of Buffett's weirdest, smartest, and most citation-able quotes were edited by Simon Reynolds from decades of Buffett speeches, writings, and interviews. It contains gems on topics. Buffett's ideas provide us with lifelong wisdom. Once in Buffett's world, you'll never be able to see things again. Simon Reynolds is an executive of an Australian-based writer and advertising company. Warren Buffett's longtime fan, Reynolds, has collected these citations from a variety of sources, added headings, and adjusted the order of presentations in this volume. At the end of the book is Reynolds' interpretation of Buffett's investment principles. Number 3. The Warren Buffett CEOs Secrets from the Berkshire Hathaway Managers Robert P. Miles This masterpiece was explained by Robert P. Miles. Warren Buffett's CEO doesn't care much about Buffett as an investor. He cares about him as a manager. 
This book shows how Buffett selects and oversees the CEOs of many Berkshire subsidiaries. It tells the story through Berkshire executives. This book is not an investment handbook, but it gives the learning about good companies and good management, managers, and businessmen. Most importantly, the book shows the side of Warren Buffett, which is often overshadowed by the performance of his portfolio. Buffett is a great manager and a great investor. Number 2. Dear Buffett, Investors Learn 1,269 Miles from Wall Street, Janet Tavakali. This book was edited by Janet Tavakali. The book, which isn't really about Buffett, even though he's one of the main characters. Janet Tavakali is a structured finance expert, and previous books focused on secured debt. She met Buffett, and after the economic turmoil of 2009, began to find more value in Buffett's philosophy and the way of value investing. This book basically helps you to see Buffett differently through the eyes of others. According to her, reading is a pure pleasure, as some of the findings are worrisome to investors. In particular, the systematic abuse that caused the collapse of subprime mortgages, which led to the beginning of the Great Recession. Number 1. The Snowball, Warren Buffett and the Deal of Life by Alice Schroeder and Buffett, Making of American Capitalist, written by Roger Lowenstein, first published in 2008. It was created in collaboration with Buffett. According to him, if you've read Buffett's canon and still feel that you don't fully understand it, these two Buffett biographies take a closer look at the life and era of Omaha's Oracle. Neither will change the knowledge of Warren's investment strategies, except to emphasize that his approach has evolved over time, but they will give you a long look at Buffett's amazing life and achievements. The best lesson to learn from this book is to learn the value of time in regards to education, knowledge, and decision-making. Although Mr. Buffett is one of the world's richest men, he had kept track of his life focused on humility, simplicity, and modesty. Warren Buffett is an avid reader. He reads almost 500 to 600 pages every day. His annual letters to his shareholders always include a couple of book recommendations. He once told a group of MBA students at Columbia Business School in 2000, Read 500 pages like this every day. That's how knowledge works. It builds up like compound interest. All of you can do it, but I guarantee not very many of you will do it. In the year 2021, Forbes named him the richest man in the world. A major contributor to this wealth is his passion to read and learn. He aptly says, the more you learn, the more you earn. Well, all of these books take the reader deep into the world of superior financial comprehension and efficient financial and management decision-making. These publications address financial and managerial challenges for people and companies alike. We hope you enjoy and learn a lot from reading these. That's all we've got for you today. Have you read any of these books? Let us know in the comments down below. If you liked and found today's video fascinating, please give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon to be up to date with the most exciting things as soon as it's released. Thank you for watching this video. See you in another video soon.